here's a model of DNA. But the thing to notice running through it are these little strands of red and orange. Um, if I turn it round, you'll see there's the two strands of red and orange, and they're connected together by these flat ring structures. We'll just bear that in mind for a second, and we'll have a little bit more of a closer look at how DNA is put together. Now those oranges and, and red things that we saw are actually sugars and phosphates. And the sugar and the phosphate make up a kind of backbone for this chemical. I've drawn one bit of one strand of a DNA and now I'm going to draw or assemble another strand. Again it needs phosphates linked together by sugars and then to each sugar is attached a base with these particular names. You notice how they're joined together. In fact the um, one base is joined to the other by these dotted lines. These things we call hydrogen bonding. And, and I just mouse over there and you'll see something of the shape which we are uh, trying to allude to. Now let's go back um, to this other slide which I skipped a second ago and I want you to notice again the red and the orange. Uh, this is the sugar and phosphate backbone and then the ring structures in the middle there are seemingly in a flat straight line. If I come in a bit closer and then go options display hydrogen bonds you'll see three dotted lines on this pair of bases and on the other one let's bring it in a bit closer right click options display hydrogen bonds you'll see two hydrogen bonds. I hope you can see in there those flat rings and also the red and orange on the outside. Now what happens if I just hop ahead where we've been what happens is the DNA unravels uh, and done so with the help of an enzyme which breaks it into two. One strand we keep the other strand seemingly is thrown away and again another enzyme comes along and starts to build a new strand of material called messenger RNA and this messenger RNA is going to go out into the cytoplasm in a second meet the ribosomes where it's going to be a template to make some protein. Now this bonding and this pairing as it's called between different bases is very very important very very specific and there's some other stuff which I haven't told you which is about the fact that RNA and DNA are just slightly different to each other but I'm gonna skip that just now so that piece of messenger RNA that I assembled now goes off to the cytoplasm having been split off and there it meets some tRNAs these tRNAs have three bases which pair or match with bits of the messenger RNA and then add an amino acid to the chain which is growing there on the back of the ribosome. Off we go. Arginine got added then and here's another one which is cysteine which got added there.